talk about placement of retraction cord with porcelain veneers. So this is a medium width retraction cord. This is actually a Z twist and you want the cord and the teeth to be very wet. Now if you if you don't have bleeding you don't need a hemostatic agent. If you do have bleeding you may want to place hemostatic agent on the cord. So the cord is only on the facial surface. This is a cord placement instrument and I'm just very gently, very gently working it into the sulcus. I don't want to break the connective tissue fibers. I want to just lay the cord, the sulcus open so that that cord makes a space for the impression material. Don't place the cord interproximally. With adjacent teeth, you've got a papilla in the middle. If you place that cord interproximally and you place it very firmly, you can strangulate that papilla and lose the papilla. The thing I like about this technique is, number one, the, the cord has retracted the sulcus so the impression material can enter the sulcus. And number two, there's so much pressure on the material from the custom tray that it just forces that impression material down to the bottom of the sulcus and you get these crystal clear crisp margins. I want to leave the cord in place for about five minutes. So just prior to taking the impression, the assistant removes the cord and wets the teeth again. Not soppy wet, but wet. We're taking a polyether impression and polyether is hydrophilic. It really likes water. So you don't want the tooth to be completely dry. You want a little bit of lubricant on the tooth. 